The other big news today, CBS 17, your local election headquarters. And North Carolina is back in the political spotlight as President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden focus their efforts on winning battleground states this week. The Democratic nominee visited the Triangle this afternoon at Durham's Riverside High School. Biden talked about the importance of voting early this election season while making a clear distinction between his approach to running the country and President Trump's. We need leadership that de-escalates tensions, opens lines of communication, and brings us together to heal and to hope. As president, that's precisely what I'll do. Later, Biden hosted a virtual event with African-American faith leaders in hopes of closing America's racial gap and providing help to historically black colleges and universities. I'm going to get HBCUs the funds they deserve, investing more than $70 billion, here now, $70 billion, lowering tuition costs, build high-tech labs and modern facilities so they can compete for the billions of dollars in government contracts other big universities, like the University of Tennessee, compete for. Biden also spent some time with Governor Roy Cooper. They talked about the election, the focus on North Carolina and family. Meanwhile, President Trump is out west, hoping to draw support in another battleground state, Nevada. He will be back in North Carolina later this week, though. As Tom Hansen reports, both candidates are turning up the heat as they get closer to their final debate before Election Day. The candidates began their Sunday at church. President Trump in Las Vegas and Joe Biden in his hometown of Wilmington, Delaware. Biden flew to North Carolina to shore up support at a drive-in rally and voter mobilization event with a message of unity. I'm running as a proud Democrat, but I will govern as an American president. No red states, no blue states, just the United States. 